So I want to show you how I use Capwing, which is my video editing software and how I'm using that these, at this time to do things like make my videos sound better and to add more better looking captions on my videos. And I am such a lazy video editor that you can trust me to say, George is going to show us just the laziest way of doing it. Cause I am not one of those people who go, let me watch the video again and cut out the, you know, not only do I cut, take, you know, take use AI to take out the ums and ahs, which I don't even do that, but I certainly don't make my videos like more interesting by cutting certain boring parts out. I just, I just, I don't have, I don't have energy or interest in doing that. Some of you who do, your videos are better as a result. Congratulations. But let me show you the lazy man's way of editing video. So here we go. So first I have to say the, the name of this website is K-A-P-W-I-N-G. I'll put a link below. I'll put a link to my affiliate link. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. You'll pay the same price um, or use the free version even with my affiliate link, but I get a little kickback if you do end up paying for it. I, I, I pay for it. I think it's worth it. It's, it's you know, relatively uh, cheap uh, compared to other video editing tools. And it's um, it, it compares with um, with Descript. I know a lot of you watching this are probably big fans of Descript, D-E-S-C-R-I-P-T, Descript. They have, Descript has better marketing than Capwing does, which is why a lot of people go to Descript. But I think Capwing does the same thing. And I think it does it probably more simply. And um, it's maybe even cheaper. I'm not sure. You can look at the pricing later. But anyway, um, it's actually pronounced Capwing, little known fact. Uh, it comes from a Calvin Hobbes cartoon where it's like, um, I think either Hobbes or Calvin said something. And then the other one was Kapwing. Anyway, that's the onomatopoeia. Uh, so anyway, Kapwing. Kapwing is usually how, how people say it without sound, sounding weird. Okay. So the first thing I do is I, I upload, I click on I either. What I often do is once I've vid edited something, I will click on the three dots and I will click on duplicate. And that way, um, and what I'll do is I will refresh the screen so that I can see that it's been duplicated. Oh, I know. Um, yeah, there we go. It's been duplicated and I will click on it and I will basically use the same, uh, I, I will use the same template that I, that I did, uh, to, but like swap out the video by deleting the video and then choosing, uh, you know, adding a video, but because you say, well, George, I don't even know how to use Capwing. <laughs> uh, can you just show us from the beginning? Yes. I will show you from the beginning. So click create new, okay, and then um, click upload. I'm going to go and upload uh, a, a short video so that it can process very quickly. And um, so what I do, this is literally, I'm going to start showing you from beginning to the end what I do on Capwing. The first thing I do is to adjust, uh, I think about whether I want to adjust the space above my head. OK, these days I don't adjust the space above my head because I use. Oh, I, no, that, I'm sorry. I do adjust the space. Let, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So what I do is I click on. Um, uh, oh, the first thing I do. Sorry. The first thing I do is I click on my video, which I, I, I can see I've clicked on my video because there's four dots to show to allow me to adjust the video size. I click on my video and I click on clean audio. This is one of the great features of Kapoing.com. Uh, clean audio. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Okay, and I'm going to click apply clean audio. And then you could see it's applying clean audio. Okay, so um, and then it, the, 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 the pop up you can see will go away, but it's still working on cleaning audio. Now, what does this mean? This means it's taking my audio and making the sound better. It's removing some background sound. It's emphasizing my voice. It's cutting out the super highs and super lows. If I suddenly like spoke too too uh, too close to my mic or whatever, you know, and it got too high, then it'll adjust it down. And if I'm too quiet at some point, it might adjust it up a little bit. So it's very smart AI adjustment and, and it's done. Success, audio, clean audio completed, all right? I, I don't usually wait for it because it's it's working on its own. And while I'm, while it's working, I often just directly go to, um, and actually this is funny. I've never noticed that there's a second, uh, there's a second video that shows up here. Um, I've never noticed that. That's really interesting. I feel like that is a bug because it, it never done that before. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm going to, I'm just, because I'm insecure about which one is cleaned audio, I'm going to, um, oh gosh, it's, see, it's now adding a bunch of them. I want to show you something. The, the, the timeline here at the bottom is very important to, to understand what's happening here. Notice that whenever I clicked on it, it added yet another uh, layer to my video, which now has four videos playing, the same video playing at the same time. I don't want that. 
So what I need to go is, is go to go to layers. On the left-hand side, if you scroll on this navigation, you can click on layers and it'll show you, oh, these are the layers, okay, that you, oh, optimize, okay. All right, this is actually really interesting. I, I never noticed that layers, that, that they rename the, the thing after it's been cleaned, um, optimized. So I'm gonna delete the ones that, that don't have optimized. I'm gonna delete this layer because that's the same exact video. I added it four times. And then I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna delete this one so that I have basically the one single one that apparently is optimized, okay? So I'm gonna click on this video uh, right here in the center and I'm gonna click crop because I don't wanna to look too short because in real life, I'm actually four feet two, but I don't wanna show you that. I wanna pretend I'm tall. So I click on crop and then I, 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 I click and adjust uh, these, these corners until, until the video is in a way that uh, makes me look tall, okay? All right, so that, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm done with that. I click crop again to confirm. And you might say, George, what happens to this white space up here? Well, I can change the white space. I can click on the white space and I can change the background color. I can make it black. I can make it whatever I want to, you know, white, whatever. Um, black is because I, I like um, dark theme because it's easier on the eyes. And I could make it black. And then what I do here is I will add um, subtitles up here. Because you know how Instagram and YouTube may have automated subtitles down here, but some people may have to turn it on. They don't know how to turn it on. So I like to put my subtitles up here so it doesn't clash with any turned on subtitles anyway. So to add subtitles is so easy. On Tapwing, you just simply click up here in the, in the top bar, there's add subtitles. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna click auto subtitles and I'm gonna click auto subtitles again, okay? And, and then it's working. Um, and it basically shows me um, do what, what's, what style of subtitles do I want? I can page through the different styles if I want to click on this right arrow or the left arrow, or I can click on view all and it shows all the different styles. And um, basically I added one of the styles to my brand kit. doesn't matter. You can click on any of the styles and click on add to brand kit. And in the future, it'll show up as your one of your first subtitles. So I just, I don't care. I think this is fine. I just want to add that. And then uh, as you can tell, once I, once I just look at the layer, look at the timeline down here. You can see that there's a subtitle icon. Now it's very, very small, but you can see um, above one, right? There's a subtitle icon. It looks like the same icon as up here. And there's some stuff here. So I know that subtitles are already there. So that's excellent. And just to be sure that that's true, I can click play. I click play and see, you can see, um, you can see that it's, it's, and by the way, you can't hear it. I can hear it in my ears, but you probably can't hear it because I shared Zoom without forgetting to share my audio. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So you can see that the subtitles, you, could, you can click on this white, um, white thing to kind of go left and right to see how the video looks as you, as you page through it, okay? And, you, and this is George, I thought you wanted subtitles up here. And, and exactly. So now that I know where the subtitles are, right? The side, the sub, I, somewhere, basically, I, I want to, to move this until I see the subtitles. And once I see the subtitles, I simply click and drag this thing to where I want it to be. And nice thing is when I click and drag this thing, it'll show me what's centered. Ah, that's centered there. And um, unfortunately, it doesn't tell me what's centered in the black box, but whatever. Okay, so it's about, it's about there. It's about centered, okay? And, um, oh, I'm sorry. Once I dropped it off, it shows my subtitles. I think I, what I did was I clicked on the subtitles and then the subtitles here is where I can change the subtitles. So if I want to say, hi, everyone, with a, with a capital E, I could do that. And just making a short video here as a demonstration. And you can, you can add more subtitles. You can merge these subtitles together um, to the same, you know, the same block if you want to. So you can just basically play around with this. You can add a new subtitle line, whatever you want to do is fine. Okay. And then um, the last thing I'm going to show you is to trim the beginning or the end of the video. Now, this is a little tricky because uh, sometimes you, you, sometimes you just, for example, right there in the beginning, I want to trim that, but I don't want to, I don't want to make a mistake. This is such a small space. So what, what I do is I click on this zoom in, zoom out button right here. Okay. Zoom in, zoom out, zooming out, and zooming all the way in. And when you zoom all the way in, you have to scroll all the way to the left, scroll all the way to the left so you can work with your, with your trimming a little bit better. So how do you trim? So you trim the video by going like this. You click and drag the left and you click and drag the left and then you trim it. And it's, 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 showing you, it's showing you the audio, 
you know, these mountains are audio waves, okay? So you, basically, if I want to make my audio start right away at the beginning of the video, I want to trim the video. I trim the video so that, oops, I, see, I'm moving the, uh, the, 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 the pointer uh, instead of trimming it. So I want to click, I want to maybe move the pointer out of the way, and I want to click and drag this very left bar here. So, okay, trim the audio in the beginning so that my video can start right away with sound. So it's more interesting, I guess. And then I all want to I want to scroll to the very right. Oh gosh, okay, scroll to the very right. And I want to trim the audio so that it it's it's also ends pretty. It ends at the end of the video. It's up to you if you want to do that or not. So see, now it's nicely trimmed. I've added subtitles, and you can also add. Um, what I often also do is add my name at the bottom there. So you can um, you can click on elements on the left hand side, elements on the left hand side, and add. Let's see here. Give me. Oh, I'm sorry, not elements. Sorry. Click text on the left hand. Click text, and you could do sample text or whatever. And I'm just going to click the sample text. So it looks like that. And I will uh, I will type uh, George Cow or whatever authentic business coach. And it's, it's pretty big, right? So what I can do is on the right-hand side, I will scroll down until I see, no, scroll up, sorry, until I see font size. And I'm going to do 14 font size. Oh, that's way too small. Okay, I'm going to do, uh, I don't know, 36. Pretty, yeah, it's, it's sizable enough. It's, it's a George Cow, authentic business coach. I want it all, well, let me, let me maybe fit it on two lines. How's that? I'll fit it on two lines. So you can just click on it and press enter, just like a word processing and then move it towards the bottom. He said, George, where is this showing up? Good question. Notice that uh, layer one, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit to show you here. Notice that I added accidentally at the end of the video, after the video ended. So remember the timeline is really important because this is where you layer on different elements in the video, whether it's subtitles or text or other graphical elements or whatever. So I'm gonna drag this thing. I'm gonna drag this thing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna match it to where um, where my video starts. And actually, uh, there's something called snap. Yeah, snap is on. You see, snap is on. It's blue. It's on. So when I like move something, and and it's close enough to where where the start of another element is, it'll automatically snap for me. Meaning it'll like, oh, you merely meant there. Yes, I did. I did mean there. And I can zoom in again. Zoom in, scroll to the left to make sure that it's it's lined up. And it's indeed it is lined up. You might say, George, how come the subtitle is not lined up? Well, it's because I didn't start saying hi everyone until this very point. That's why the subtitle is there. So I hope this is helpful. And as you can tell, um, let me let me zoom out a little bit. Oh, one thing I didn't do. Notice I didn't do this. My title will end at this point in the video. Move the pointer and notice my title is there until suddenly the title ends. So I want to click and drag my title all the way to the end. And again, it snaps automatically. I didn't have to do that. I just I dragged it towards that area and it snapped to making it um, aligned with, with the end of the video. So that's it. That's all I do. And I click, uh, I click on this dark area outside, okay, outside somewhere. And I, I check if there's anything else I want to change. You can change the, um, you can even change the, um, uh, resize the canvas. So if you had like a landscape video, you can resize it to a vertical video or vice versa. That's a very clever tool. You can resize it to two different tools. So that that's a one way of creating like a YouTube short or something. You want to resize it to a, to a vertical. That's an easy way of doing that. Right. Um, but nine by 16 is, 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 is vertical versus 16 by nine is landscape. It's, it's just giving you icons to say, well, you, most YouTube videos are 16 by nine. Most Instagram videos are nine by 16. Not that that is for YouTube. That is for Instagram. It just depends on what, what uh, format you want. So ignore the icons if it's confusing to you, but just look at the numbers. It's nine by 16 versus 16 by nine. Anyway, I'm not going to do that right now. And um, I've got, I think I'm done with my video. I've already uh, put subtitles in there, right? My subtitles are in there and my name's in there and I clean the audio. So I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to click export now. Like, oh, actually one more thing. Yeah, I'm going to click export project and empty frames detected in the video. Are there really empty frames? Let me check the timeline. Where are the empty frames? Oh, okay. Okay. I'm so glad. <laughs> I'm so glad this is still recording because I realized I didn't do something right. Capwing is very smart to say, do you really want to start the video with nothing, with a gap in the middle? No, I don't. So what I want to do is I want to drag everything to the left. Okay, drag everything to the left. So let me go ahead and, and uh, zoom out. 
drag this element all the way to the left. And even if I drag it way left, it'll snap. It'll snap and just put it right at the right place. Same thing with this, uh, with my name. I want to drag it all the way to the left so it snaps. And I want to, I'm actually now wondering if, I think the, the, the subtitle already adjusted itself, but let me, let, let's double check. Yeah, it is correct. I'm, I'm hearing myself. You probably can't hear it. And then I'm seeing that the, um, that the words are correct. So it, it, it uh, somehow adjusted itself, I, I, I think. So uh, with that, I'm going to click export project and I'm going to make it the highest quality that I can. Auto is fine. I usually just make this highest quality and it's, it's small enough. I mean, if I, if I was doing a very long video and I dragged this and it became like one gigabyte or something, I might regret it. And I might like do, oh, I don't need to have it so large, but most of my videos are are short ish like you know even even something that's like 15 20 minutes i think highest quality isn't making it too big so that it's uh what george what's wrong with too big there's really nothing wrong it's like the question is whether you can easily download it to your computer and upload it to youtube or wherever without taking you know days and days of uploading so anyway highest quality is usually fine and then i do um if i you could play with this in the future to say, well, I really want to force it to be, I want to force it to be 1080 or, or 720 or whatever. But I think generally audio seems to be okay for me. MP4 is correct for a video format and I click export. And then once it's exporting, it, you'll, you'll see that it's, it's doing its work and um, this will keep going up in percentage. And once this is done, uh, going all the way to percentage, you are now able to click download. Right now I can't click download because it's not done yet. But you can go about doing your thing. It also has a little progress uh, bar up here. But in the future, just keep this open. Or you, you can even actually, you can even close this if you want to. Because if I close this, let me show you what I do. If, even if I close this, the exporting is still working. Because if I go back to Capwing, I assume that's true. Uh, I, I'm going to click on this. And you can see, yes, the exporting is still working. And basically, I can click on, uh, whoops. I can click on, uh, where where did it go? Oh, it's it's done. See, if I click on export project, and like, yes, click on export project, click on recent exports, and now I can click on download. And now I've downloaded it and now I can upload it wherever. So I hope this is helpful. Sorry for how long this thing went, but I, I really hope this was a, a useful thing for all of any of you who are watching this. I hope this helps you to use Capwing more lightly. This is literally all I do on Capwing. I don't do anything else that's fancy. If you wanna comment below and, and share with us, how you use Capwing, any other fancy features you want to share with us, I'm sure that would be appreciated by others here. So thanks for watching and see you next time.